Hey guys, welcome back to another Korean Yummy episode. So today I have made a one block wide um, 3x3 piston door. Um, so basically you just flick the switch and the door closes. You flick it again and the door opens. Um, it only requires one repeater here and um, no slime except the slime required for the sticky pistons and no honey whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so I'll explain to you what's happening here. So we've got this lever here, which activates this redstone here, which comes along here and activates this block here. Um, we've also got this coming down here, which will activate the repeater and hard power this block activating this piston. We've also got this aiming into here, which is hard powering these blocks, activating these three pistons. We got the line coming over the top and activating that piston. We then have it coming down here, um, activating these two pistons, activating this here, which comes down here into this block here, which powers this, which deactivates it, activating this, which activates this, but also the observer senses when this um, deactivates and sends a signal to here, which closes and opens the door. So yeah, you do need a falling block here, unfortunately. Um, but that's basically the only catch to it. Um, it's one block wide and really, and really fast. Um, but yeah. If you're wondering why this is here, it, um, coming out slow, it's because the redstone torches have a delay on them. So we got two ticks here, um, from when these one, from when these go into when that one goes. But yeah, they're basically the only downsides. Um, and yeah, it's really simple to make. You can copy the design if you want. You can basically see everything from this angle here. And just note that there's redstone lines across the top there. Um, but yeah. This design took me a while to make. Um, probably because I don't really do this type of design. I normally don't care about how compact they are, but this design is fairly compact. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe and watch out for more Korean Gaming episodes. Bye!